Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and today I'm going to do a showcase of The Beast. And earlier this week you guys wanted or voted on which showcase you wanted to see, Willie Mays, Roberto Clemente, or The Beast. And The Beast won overwhelmingly in terms of what you guys wanted to see. So here we go. Let me explain what The Beast is. The Beast is a, show, uh, a storage case that my dad and I built. Uh, earlier this year, late last year, earlier this year, it probably took us two months to build it, doing it on weekends and evenings, and I really wanted to make it a beautiful piece of furniture. I wanted to make it something that we could really be proud of and I, that I could have for a really long time. And what's happened is I have filled it up pretty quick, although I still have some room in it, and I'm going to kind of show you where I'm at with that and what it looks like, maybe what I would do different. So if we pan over here, you can see the beast itself. And what it is, is three rows of drawers for normal PSA or BGS slabs, and then two rows of four, eight drawers total for larger slabs. And what I think I anticipated was having way more larger slabs, which I don't. So these drawers are all empty, but what I'm going to do, I think I have, no, I don't have any of those empty drawers. I'm going to pull out a drawer here and show you what a basic drawer looks like. They all look the same, only smaller maybe. So they all have a walnut front, uh, a cast iron handle, and a brass, uh, whatever you call that, card holder, library card holder to show what's in it. The sides are made out of Baltic birch and they're waxed and stained. Uh, all used uh, dovetail joints for all the different joints on everything front and back. The backs are made of oak, solid oak. And inside each drawer, we measured these perfectly to where this will hold a perfect fit sleeved PSA slab, larger PSA slab. And those go in there like that. I don't have uh, drawer slides on them because I wanted to conserve space and they work just fine going in and out of the little cubbies here's what a you know a big slab would look like what that looks like so those just fit right in here perfect so there's that but the biggest part are these PSA slab drawers and I have 15 of those total and I have a lot of labels here for things this is when I first started I had items in nine of the different uh, drawers. And what's happened is I start over here with the oldest to the newest. Come on up here, Julie. Stand up and kind of shoot down at it. So I start up here with all my autograph cards. These are Hall of Fame. These are actually just any autographs, any slabbed autograph. So I've got in here PSA slabbed autographs and BGS slabbed autographs. So if it's a slabbed autograph, it's in here and they all fit fine just like that. So you can see how full the drawers can get. So I've got Hall of Fame autographs that are slabbed, Hall of Fame autographs that are slabbed. What's cool about this is mm. I have these little foam uh, inserts that I cut out of this big piece of foam. They're really small squares. You can see that here. And I cut them to size and I can they just fit right in here and that'll hold the row from sliding back or falling backwards but if I have a full row it's no problem so then over here you can actually put I got top loaders in here not just slabs so these are more Hall of Fame autographs these are all just Hall of Fame autographs so these are all Hall of Fame autographs and this one's Hall of Fame autographs I have my 2001 Greats of the Game set over here, so some of these are not Hall of Famers, but that's that entire run of cards right there, okay? Then on the next rows, we've got slabs only. So this is part of any set that I have, any set registry that I'm using, including other cards too. But starting over here, I just mine are organized by year. So you've got the oldest, over here to the newest. So each drawer, 
you can see how full they get and they can come out and I can just set them like this, thumb through the cards, look at them as I need to, put them back. Each drawer, let me pull this one out, I'll show you. Get this one out. So each drawer holds 85 slabs. E I'm sorry, each side of each drawer holds 85 slabs. So 170 slabs will fit into each drawer. If I filled up all 15, I could put in 2,550 slabs just in the small ones, or the normal size slabs. So they come all the way. I can just pull this out if I need to and work on that and stick it right back in. So <coughs> this one goes <clears throat> 1900 till about 1957. Then I got 57 through 1963. Here's 63 through 72. So I try not to fill them up too much. I try to give myself some room so I can add more cards, but these are all full. Like they go all, I don't have any inserts on any of these because I've been getting so many cards for my top or three decade set, top 300, whatever. So these are all pretty full. I've left some room here. So going down here, these were all empty before that one. And then all of these were empty. They are now well on their way to being full. So I stop right here. This goes through 2017. So I've got everything through 2017 and a little insert holding that just like that. Fantastic. I've got a couple other little sets in here, some football autographs. These are more just regular Panini sets that I've been working on over the years. So these will eventually get pulled out and I'll fill this up with slabs in all of this. Down here I've got, these are all Hall of Fame autographs, big slabbed Hall of Fame autographs. Down here, everything from Hall of Fame plaques to three by five cards to press deals. So everything of that size is down in this drawer down here. And I only need one of them. I want one and that much, one in a little bit. So if I was to do this over, I would have done it where I had another row of small slab drawers. That would have been much more helpful to me because I'm never gonna fill up these eight drawers with big slabs. I'm just probably not gonna ever acquire that many. So, but it is what it is. It's a great piece. I loved working on it with my dad. It was a fantastic father-son piece in terms of just spending time together, quality time together, enjoying each other's company, getting to see how skilled he is at doing this. Um, I did a lot of the work too, but he was the mastermind behind it. Could have never happened. So we designed it and uh, built it, and there it is. So a lot of you have been wondering what the beast was. That's it, that's the beast. I would argue it's one of the nicest PSA storage cases that there is. Um, it's really high quality, all walnut faced. Another thing we did that was really cool, I don't know if Julie can get this, but this is all one slab of walnut that we simply, all the grain runs together. And we did that on purpose so it looks very fluid. It's just one giant piece of walnut where we just cut out the drawer faces and made it very uh, aesthetically pleasing for sure. So you can still really see here the grain matching through the walnut. Very, very cool. So I haven't updated my labels because I'm, it's moving so fast. I keep having to shift stuff over and kind of move everything down. When I fill up a row up here, I got to, everything has to shift. And so I can't keep up because it's kind of a pain to cut out, you know, print and cut out those little labels. So once I get a little more full, I will do a better job of keeping up with that. For now, I just kind of look in the drawer and see what's there, but they'll come in handy for sure later. So there you go, guys, that's the beast. And I hope you enjoy this showcase video and we'll do another one next Saturday. For now, thanks for watching and keep collecting. And your filmographer was great.